I think that Alzheimer's is the most feared disease because it strikes at exactly what we mistakenly think makes us human. I believe people with Alzheimer's quite literally frighten us to death. Death, we think, is the loss of memory. <laughs> it is the loss of self. The first person to be diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease was uh, famous for having said, I've lost myself, which is, of course, absolute 100% guaranteed proof you haven't lost yourself. The very fact that they, that they are troubled by their incapacity is, is a demonstration that the self is intact. We've heard lots of statements about loss of self or the empty shell that a person can become, and I don't think that that's true. So what we need to work on is really understanding that there is not a complete loss of self, that there is never an empty shell, that a person remains and an opportunity to have relationship remains throughout the course of this disease. If one believes and tries hard enough and loves enough and has a deep love for humanity, there can always be a bridge. We fear this disease a way we fear no other. In stripping away language and reasoning, it seems to take away everything, everything that makes us who we are, that makes us human. Or does it? I'm Robert Pinsky inviting you to join us as we attend to aspects of Alzheimer's disease outside the realm of science and medicine. As we'll see in the next hour, this disease that we fear so deeply for what it takes away may also present some opportunities to restore our ties with family, with other people, and possibly to understand and fulfill some of our own humanity.